Just a warning guys, but this video is a bit of an incoherent rant about me blasting Farky for his video. Now I do mean this in the nicest way possible, and it is a critique, so it falls under fair use, so you can't strike me if that's what you're thinking. Hey guys, so I couldn't resist critiquing his whole video. Sorry Farky. So, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 has finally been announced to be releasing on August the 18th. The thing is, is your PC up to the spec? I know. Now, there is quite a bit of white noise in this video because he's got a shit microphone. And I'm going to have to put up with it. But I might be able to remove the white noise with noise cancelling. So that's fun. But I'll have to put up with it. So feel my pain. And I might skip past the boring parts in the edit. So let's see. No, mine definitely isn't. And no, you definitely will not blow. be able to play it on your mum's old laptop from twin. He, he, he's a hypocrite. He's a huge hypocrite. Because he had his mum's old laptop. And yeah. And, and he run. And he ran games. And he sounds like a. Sassy eight year old. A D10 running Windows Vista. So, what exactly are the minimum specs for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020? As you can see from the picture shown here, you can see that the Ryzen 3 1200 or. Now, we will be seeing a lot of these JPEGs in this video because he couldn't be bothered to make his own ta he tables. He could have copied and pasted it into Word or something. He didn't. He got a snipping tool and he snipped them off the website or wherever. There were like high quality versions of them, I swear. Yep, so that's fun. You can literally barely read out the A in Radeon because it's five pixels. J just saying, not that, it ma not that anybody cares or that it matters. Let let's move on. The Intel Core i5-4460 is the minimum CPU spec that you'll need Hmm, where would his CPU fall on that? He's got a 20, 2600 non, non K. Yeah. How old? That's like eight, nine years old at this point. It probably will be okay because most of it's relying on the graphics card, but there probably will be a lot of physics simulations. Mmm, tasty need to play Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Also, you'll need a graphics card with at least 2 gigabytes of VRAM. Mm, you could probably... Um, uh, th this isn't a complete guide, but you could probably do it on um, Vega 11 or Vega 8. Or what's the new one? Yeah, yeah on um, Radial Integrated and possibly yeah, in the... Um, and on the mobile ones, probably. If there's like if you've got sixteen gigabytes of RAM, because you will really, 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 really struggle with integrated and that, because it's like that Xbox problem all over again. But I'm rambling on. RAM and eight gigabytes of RAM. Okay, I'm going to skip past this part because he talks a lot. Finally, let's move on to oh, the ideal. Oh, I like ideal. this one because uh, uh, my CPU meets the spec. My graphics card doesn't because I don't have a thousand pounds for an RTX 28. Oh, it's not a TI, but they're still like 700. Um, eight gigabytes of VRAM. It doesn't work. An SSD, no, not a 10 year old Toshiba hard drive. It's listed here, you're requiring eight core CPU. Oh, eight, core, eight, eight cores. You know who was telling me eight cores is so unnecessary. VRAM. This could include the RTX 2080 from NVIDIA or the RX 5700 XT from AMD. Oh, I don't get AMD graphics cards. This isn't a critique of the video, but I'm lazy. And, RT, and it's just so much nicer than NVIDIA naming schemes. I wish AMD would like get their act together and they'll be bothered to remember the name. Oh, sick burn. And is that graphics card really equivalent to an RTX 2080? Because it kind of isn't. Because AMD really struggle with graphics cards. They pro they have new ones releasing. I don't know because it's not in the video, so I just don't care. 
Also need. Sorry, this is a graphics card snobbery, isn't it? But you're gonna put up with it. Need going more spec. You sound like a bunch of numbers. Oh, a bunch of numbers. A bunch of numbers. A bunch of numbers. Oh, poor you. Poor you, viewer, for having a bunch of numbers. Oh no, I have a pocket of numbers actually. Let's now take a look at what our PC. He wishes computer looked like that. He generally would. I, I can't talk though. But but I've got a Corsair mouse, so fuck you. He that meets the minimum recommended and ideal specs would look like. So as you can see, Th this is very lazily contrived. You could have put it into graphics and tables and had them each individually slide on with the graphics all coming together, and it would have looked amazing. It would have looked amazing, but no, we we get a screenshot which does not even take up a full aspect ratio. The normal aspect ratio monitor is taken from snipping tool. I move on. The hard drive's a bit unnecessary though, because because we are talking about there's going to be a lot more SSD exclusive games because it's a it's easier to program games for an SSD. But I think that would require probably like whatever they're going to call Windows 11 because it would require a new file system. But I'm talking really fast here and I don't know if I can speed up this audio. Move on. Is that case um, DH15 certified? I don't think it is. But this is how you get the Mac 36 digital blue. Now for the graphics card, we've gone team red again. He's got the, he's got the hard drive again. But somebody in this price range would not get a hard drive. I, I don't think. Um, I'm kind of just below that price range, but you wouldn't, because you could just afford a better SSD. Have a 1TB SSD and call it a day at that. But I guess it depends if this is like a build on build where you're upgrading basically versus building an entire new one because there's a lot of unforeseen costs with building a new build like a monitor well that isn't that unforeseen but a keyboard a mouse and if you're very budget type that's a big part of the picture like £10 could be not making it up well the difference between getting a fully functioning system and not getting a fully functioning system that was an interesting video but three things to work on white noise making your own graphics and um what else was it uh like um uh oh yeah not using pc part picker i guess that's two things there white noise and making your own graphics so I know this has been a harsh critique, and it was meant to be. I was going to do more mocking, but it is a pretty good video, to be fair. So thank you for watching, and I just couldn't resist from doing this. Sorry, Farky. If this was a bit of a joke, and don't take this too seriously, but thank you for watching, and hope you enjoyed your